okay today uh, today we shall be developing we shall be developing paired sample t test so uh, the model is model is uh, paired sample t test and and this model also called dependent t statistics and this one is also called repeated majors repeated majors t statistics and this model also is known as within subject t statistics statistics so here actually we shall be comparing we shall be comparing between two means that we shall be doing here comparing between two means you can see here comparing between two means between two mean value I just uh, better I say between two mean value right that that uh, uh, that here that here we shall be doing today and now so in this project what is our target our target is to compare between two score between two score of students uh, between two score of of two groups of student that is the whole target okay okay suppose uh, here here I take data of of score of 12 students right first uh, first uh, I take data of score of 12 students okay score then after that after that what I do after that I give them I give uh, them a special teaching program to improve their score so then what I do I give them a special teaching program to improve their score and that that uh, special teaching program was for two months okay for two months so after two months I also uh, collect their score right of those 12 students now I want I want to check whether their score whether their score have been improved or not after the special teaching 
program okay so that means uh, first uh, first i collect the score of the 12 student then i put those student under special teaching program after taking the teaching program i collect their score again and now I, I want to check whether their score has been improved or not after giving the special teaching program. Meaning that whether the teaching program has been fruitful or not. That I want to check. I want to check whether whether the special teaching program has been fruitful or not. That I want to check today. Okay, so, so first I start to collect data. You can see here data view, variable view. I can change right okay so first first uh, I put the variable name the first variable is before and the second variable is after right two variables are here before and after okay what I do now I insert the score I click on the data view so that I can uh, in, in insert the score of 12 students. So I'm putting 65, 56 so uh, so the so th these are the score that 12 student ha has received before the uh, special teaching program okay now these students are put under special teaching program and after the special teaching program I collect their score again whether they have improved or not okay so after the teaching program they have scored following 90 80 56 76 77 70 65 80 67 69 67 80 okay so so after the teaching program they have got this score now now uh, my target is to check whether teaching program special teaching program has been fruitful or not that I have to check okay and before doing it before doing it I must check whether whether our two variable such as before and after these two variable are normally distributed or not that means these two variable must be normally distributed before doing the uh, paired sample t-test. So these two variable must be must be normally distributed. That is the assumption. Okay, and and the thing is that uh, the uh, the normality assumption can be checked 
by many method such as uh, box plot right box plot or qq right qq test or or uh, there are some uh, uh, other method such as uh, we can also do uh, kolmograph kol kolmo kolmo gorab kolmo gorab and smirnov statistics sorry smir smirnov smirnov statistics so so etc 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 all this method can tell me whether these two variables are normally distributed or, or not but here uh, we are not going to check it we are not going to check it whether these two variables are normally distributed or not but we just assume that we just assume that these two variables are normally distributed okay then now we shall be testing paired sample t test